So in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting uh, more done on our uh, interpreter. So in the last video we left off we, we were able to work out what a print was and what a string was. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a tokens uh, list. So it's a tokens and we're going to create an empty list. So when we find a string what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to say tokens.append and then we're going to say string colon and then we're just going to append on the value of the string so in our case we're just going to use the string variable and then up here we're just going to change from find a print to tokens.append print so now if we just come down here underneath the loop and we just print out tokens we hit enter. As you can see, it says print, and then it says string. Hello world. But as you can see, it uh, we're missing. We have a problem. We're missing the space in the hello world. So what we need to do is we need to say uh, if we when we're when we're ignoring spaces, we only want to do it when the state is equal to zero because that's when we're looking for keywords. So we want to say if state whoops equals zero, then toke equals nothing else to equals space. So uh, let's just run this again. Okay, uh, we've still got that problem. Okay, we've still got that problem. Um, okay, so what we need to do is we just need to change that to toke and if we refresh, or not refresh, we're not doing uh, websites, uh, you can see now we have the space. But we only have one semi or one uh, double quote there, and we're missing a double quote at the end. So what we need to do is just we'll simply append a double quote onto the end of that. So as you can see, there we have a print, and then we have our string, which is we have our two tokens. And if I come underneath and I say print something else and hit enter. Okay, so I think to fix this problem where we're only seeing things on this line, we need to. Um, ignore new lines as well so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna say if toke equals a new line we're gonna say toke equals nothing then what we have to do also is just come down here and say toke equals nothing and let's try that so as you can see now it says print string hello world print string h so that seems to have worked so now we've done that, we can, uh, let's just comment that out, because we can use that, because it's good for debugging. We can say return uh, tokens. So now what we can do is we can say parse, and we can use our parse function, and we'll say, uh, let's say tokens, let's just say t, or let's say tokes, equals that, so we'll say tokes, and we'll pass tokens, to the parse function. So we'll say define parse uh, and we're going to give it tokes and then we'll say we'll say print tokes just to make sure that it works. So you can see we get the same result so that means it's uh, worked and we've passed them to the parse function. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say a variable called i and it's going to be our iterator or our uh, sort of instruction count. What we're going to say is uh, while uh, i is less than uh, token, let's say tokes dot length. I think it's tokes dot size actually. Um, then we're gonna say i plus uh, plus, and then what we'll do also is just so we can see what's going on. We'll say print i. Okay, uh, yeah, you can't use i++ in Python, you said i plus equals i, or i plus equals 1, I mean. So let's try this. Uh, okay, there's no, it's not size, it must be length. Okay, uh, that's not right either, so let's just try the normal len function in Python. So let's try that and hit it, enter. So you can see it says uh, 3, well there's 4. Uh, numbers so that means our iterator went four times and if we check we have four items in our uh, tokens array or our tokens list so what we're going to say is um, 
if uh, let's say tox i plus tox or let's say uh, plus space just to make it easier to to read plus uh, tox i plus one uh, equals print string then we're gonna say print find string and then we're gonna say uh, We'll actually get, take that out of there and we'll just say um, i plus equals 2 because what we're doing is we're incrementing i by 2 because we have two um, different uh, items in our list. So we'll just, we should get found string printed out twice. So let's try that. Okay, we have a problem. Uh, so let's just try this i plus equals 1 i plus equals one. The reason this didn't work, we'll just get rid of all this uh, rubbish. The reason it didn't work is because if we remember, we also assigned the variable of this, or the uh, value of the string to the string token. So if I print this, you will see, uh, as you can see, it says print string, which is correct. Then it has um, the string appended onto the end of it. So what we want to do is we want to say, uh, just want to do is we want to uh, get the beginning of the string. So we just want to say uh, 0, 06. So we want to get the first six characters of the string token. Then what I'll just say is i plus equals 2. And this should work. So as you can see, it says find string, find string. So now what we want to do is we want to print out the string itself. So we'll say print uh, tokes i plus one and then we'll just say six uh, this colon just means um, sort of it means start from the sixth character and just go on to the end of the string so we're not giving it um, an end so if we said six ten it would go from the sixth character to the tenth character which would show us four but we just want it to go to the end so we'll just give the, the uh, colon so if we hit enter as you can see it says hello world and it says h so we actually want to add one on because we have the semicolon, or we have the other colon to get rid of. So there we go. We have uh, print hello world and print h. So uh, if I do print my name is Francis and hit enter, as you can see, it says my name is Francis. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And also don't forget to uh, follow us on Google Plus. Um, and I hope you enjoy this series. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want us to add to the um, the uh, interpreter. So just let me know. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.